Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salvin Francis and in our eighth video we are going to discuss groups and users in a very short manner. And so let's start. In Linux, basically, uh, we can just get all the user information in a directory called etc pass wd. But before we go into this detail, let me create a user. So create a user in Linux. It's very simple. Just type user add. You should be logged in as root and type user add and then the username. So let me call it as uh, new user. Press enter. And that's it. Our user has been created. And to make sure that user is created, we can just go to cat etc passwd grep. Grep means to fetch this new user. And we can see that a user has been created. And this 1003 is uh, user ID. We can check with the command, command ID new user. And here we can see that the new user's ID is 1003 and GID stands for group ID, it's 1004. And the group basically name is new user. So we can see that whenever we create a user, by default, this user is the member of its own group. So the same group name is generated automatically. But until and unless we give this user a password, this group is locked. Uh, sorry, this user is locked. How, how can we prove that? Uh, so basically, all the passwords are stored in etc shadow file. So if we go to etc shadow and grab the same user, we will see two exclamation marks here just after new user and this means this group uh, this user is logged and how can we prove it of course if we just exit out of uh, our login and just try to log in as next new user press enter and then press enter because we haven't mentioned any password so the new user cannot log in so let me log in back as root and now i'm going to give password to user. So let me clear the screen. To give password to user, we'll type passwd and the username. That's it. And let me give him a very simple password. And we can see that all authentication tokens updated successfully. You should be logged in as root. Just don't forget that. So this is how we create a user and this is how we assign user a password. So if this time I log, log out and I want to log in as new user and add, enter the password and you can see I'm logged in as the user. Who am I will prove that I am a news user. Now to switch back to root, uh, let me switch back to root and who am I and uh, sorry who am I so I am root now so this is how you create a user you assign user a password okay now because we have provided user the password this time now if we go to etc shadow file and grab same new user now those exclamation marks are gone and it's in some sort of encrypted form now and that's the reason because this password has been generated okay so we can also prove this password generated in etc passwd in front of user it should be an x and sorry let me grab the new user Okay, we can see that new user, then there is an X and uh, we can see that the user ID is 1003, same as, and the group ID is 1004. And slash home slash new user means the home directory of new user is new user. 
And how we can see that? We can just go to home, press ls, uh, like type ls, and we can see that we have new user, home directory. And let me switch back to new user. Okay, who am I? Sorry, I always forget who am I. Okay, I'm new user, so I can go into new users directory. Yes, I can. And but if I want to go to some other users directly, let me go into uh, test user. So as you can see, permission is denied. And then, like, the permission is denied, of course, because I cannot go, like, to in another user's directory. This is how the permissions work. And with per for permissions, regarding permissions, we will... Uh, discuss it uh, a bit later so let me uh, just create another user what if a user by default you can see that this home directory is created with the same name uh, as users what if the user uh, wants a different name of his home directory so to do that let me switch back to root okay let me create another user uh, this time user add Mr. Mr. T. Let's call him user add Mr. T and I want this time the directory should be with the name of Big T and press enter and as WD uh, Mr. T and Okay, here you can see that this the big T is Mr. T's directory. And how can we check that? Okay, so ls hyphen ld big T, press enter, like list, uh, the listing of directory T. And we can see that there is drwx dash 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 to Mr. Underscore T, Mr. Underscore T. What does it mean? Uh, D stands for directory. R W X means read, write, and execute. And Mr. T, Mr. T means that Mr. T is the owner of this directory. So that's how a person who creates, like uh, who is being created, he is the owner of his home directory and except root, nobody can enter it by default. So uh, this is uh, the first thing I wanted to show you. And now what I would like to do is, I would like to lock this user. Yes, I want this user to lock out, but first let me uh, see that if we can log in as Mr. T. So let me exit, exit again. Okay, now I'm uh, out and let me first log in as Mr. T. And you can see that I just logged in as Mr. T. Who am I? Okay. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to lock Mr. T so that he cannot log in. There are two ways uh, to do that, but you should be root. What I can do is pass WD dash big L to lock and Mr. Underscore T, uh, sorry, small L. <clears throat> we can see that a locking password for user Mr. T and if I just log out and try to log in with the same user Mr. T with the same password and see Mr. T cannot log in trying again with the same password no okay let me log in as root and I will now unlock Mr. T to unlock Mr. T or any user type passwd 
dash u and the username. And we can see that unlocking password for user Mr. T. And this time if I just exit out, log in as Mr. T with the same password and I'm in. Okay, now the other method is, let me switch back to user root. I hope I'm not going that fast. So the other method is to lock a user, we uh, lock it by uh, user mod user mod which stands for user modification with a big L this time and username Mr. T. Okay, let me log out. Try again Mr. T password and we can see it's again not allowing allowing us. So let me go just login as root and to unlock Mr. T with user mod command we type capital U Mr. T okay exit Mr. T password okay Mr. T password and we are in. So this is how uh, we can uh, just modify the user or lock the user and some basic commands. Okay, next what I would like to discuss is uh, something which is called group. So, okay, before I discuss about group, I think I will discuss groups in my next video. Uh, because it, this video is getting lengthy. So just one more thing I would like to mention here is that uh, user ID basically <clears throat> or UID basically of any user, let's say new user or oh, sorry ID of uh, new user we can see that it uh, gives us UID 103. So any new user we create its ID will be created above 1000 uh, that's by default and a uh, user has a user ID of zero root has a user ID of uh, zero if I see ID root we can see that UID is zero group ID is zero and groups zero so this is the basic of users and in, in our next video we will uh, continue our discussion with this uh, users and uh, group thank you very much for watching and see you later